what are the rules of debit and credit what is debit and credit we might have said left hand side and right hand side debit and credit per se they are just terms in accounting we will call one side debit that is the left hand side let us say the assets plus expense side we will call debit and the liability side the liabilities plus capital plus profit that is capital plus income minus expense or capital liabilities and income we will call that the credit side they're just two sides we need these two sides to follow the rules of double entry and record transactions remember what is accounting it is recording in a significant manner in a significant manner which is nothing but the double entry system so we are framing the rules for this double entry we have decided to call the left hand side the debit side asset and expenses if you remember asset plus expenses we had already said asset plus expenses is equal to we said on the other side liabilities plus income liability i am including capital liability is including liability to owner and liability to outsider if this is the case in the simplest form asset and expenses on one side the way asset is treated the same rule will apply to expense similarly the way liability is treated the same rule will apply to income so the rules are like this whenever there is an increase in asset that is debited that is debited so when cash comes in if cash of the business is increased asset increases we will debit cash we will open what is called a cash account and debit cash debit cash increase in assets are debits if increase in asset is debit decrease in asset is credit decrease in asset is credit so when we pay cash when we pay cash and cash comes down we are going to credit cash all we need to remember is an increase in an asset we will debit that particular account now what do we mean by an account an account each each item whether it's cash whether it's a debtor whether it's a creditor whether it's furniture whether it's sale whether it's purchase all these are represented by an account is represented by an account so increase in assets are debits decrease in assets would therefore be credits and the rule would just be the opposite for liabilities and incomes so increase in liabilities would become credits whereas decrease in liabilities would be debits whatever happens to asset happens to an expense therefore increase in expenses are debits whatever happens to liability happens to income therefore increase in incomes are credits to summarize if we put it like this asset liability debit and credit this top corner the first one if we remember is plus the rest of it will fall into place so increase in assets are debits therefore decrease has to be a credit liability if there is a increase in liability it will be a credit but if there is a decrease it would be a debit if there be a decrease in liability it would be debit sometimes we use this to remember easily this corner if you remember one corner asset debit increase increase is plus asset debit plus rest of it would fall into place because it would be the reverse decrease in asset would automatically be a credit but increase in liability increase in liability is a credit decrease in liability debit of course whatever happens to the asset also happens to the expense whatever happens to liability also happens to income
just expanding the same we get asset increase in assets or debits increase in expense are also debits therefore decrease in asset or credit decrease in expenses credit but in case of liability and income reverse is the case that means decreases in liability when the liability comes down it's a debit income comes down it's a debit comes down it's a debit but when it goes up increase in liability we will credit increase in income we will 